Hey there, Lick and Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which we're going to learn Shape of My Heart. First, I'm going to play with the arrangement so you can see and hear how it goes. Then we're going to break it down lick by lick, note by note, chord by chord, with tabs right here on the screen, as usual. Goes like this. Enjoy. Okay, so you play E minor like this. Okay, this is a fingerstyle version of E minor. Three on the first string, and all you play okay, is strings one, two, three, and six, which is why you don't have to put the whole chord on. Okay, you don't. You just have to put three on the first string, and you have E minor. Okay, strings one, two, three, and six. And then you play strings two, one. Okay, that's it. Now, if you want to use the rhythm pattern that I was using when I demonstrated it, you play this. Okay? Which is, again, it's the same chord, okay? You play the chord, okay? Strings one, two, three, and six. And then you play strings three, two. And then you slap. And then the first string. Okay? That's the rhythm pattern. Okay? And it's pretty much the same throughout the intro. So, that's the melody. Now, um, the second chord is D6. Okay? It's two and two on strings one and three. And you play strings, okay, four to one. Okay? Two zero, two zero on strings one to four. And again, strings two one. Okay? Or... The rhythm pattern. Okay, the chord and then strings three, two, then you slap, then the first string. Um, then you have C. Okay, and for the arrangement, I like to play C major seven almost throughout the, the piece. C major seven is basically C with the open second string. Right? And this enables you to also play okay, solos on top of the chord, okay, which we will do. So uh, it's just three on the fifth string and open strings one, two, and three. Okay, and again, strings two, one. Okay, exactly the same rhythm pattern. So okay, if you want to add slapping. And then... You play this. Okay? It's just um, the first string with the C bass. And then four on the second string, two on the fifth. Okay? This is C and B. Okay? But you don't need the whole chord. Okay? That's the first loop. Okay, that's the first chord progression. Now, the second time around, you start with E minor, but you add one on the second string. Okay? So, so it's not 
really E minor, it's actually C over E, okay, C slash E, okay, but we'll treat it as E minor just for the purposes of fingerstyle perspective, okay, so it's the same, uh, the same melody, but this time it's a C note instead of a B note, it's one on the second string, right, and then you have the same D6 to, uh, to B, Okay, the same chord progression, okay? The only change is the one on the second string. So it's exactly the same chord progression. Okay, C over E, okay, which we will call E minor with one on the second string. And then D6, C major seven. Okay, C and B at the end. So it's the same chord progression twice with one on the second string, the second time when you play E minor. And then you have, uh, you, you actually have C, okay? With one on the second string, so. Okay, because it's in the melody, okay? Otherwise I would play C major seven. Now you can play C major seven and then play the one on the second string, you can, you can combine. Okay, it's beautiful. Okay, it gives variety, okay, instead of Okay, of a normal C chord, you have C major seven, and then. So it's a C chord, yeah, you play the chord, the melody note is the E string, the first string. Okay, and then you have one on the second string, zero, three, zero on the first. And then you have G with three on the second string. Okay, and the melody is basically just strings two, three, two. Okay, so you just play the chord. Okay, and you can slap after the third string. Okay, and then you have B7, an actual B7 chord. Okay, so it's a B7 chord. Okay, your run of the mill, open position, B7 chord, uh, 2 0, 2 1 2, on strings 1 to 5. And you play strings 2 3 2 again just like on the G chord, okay? Okay, it's exactly the same rhythm pattern as well. Okay, you slap after you play the third string. Then you have C, major seven, again, and it's strings one, two, one. That's it. And then you have C, B again, and then E minor. Okay, so for E minor, the melody note would be the first string. You can play the whole chord with it. You can also do a levish ending, okay? You can use the harmonics on the 12th fret or on the fifth fret or, okay, on all three, okay? 12, seven, and five, okay? Depending on your own style. So, okay, you can do this, it's enough. So that is the second half of the intro, okay? C, and then G, B7, C major seven, and then C, B, E minor. And then you have the verse. You start with the same E minor, and you have three, three, zero, and then you have D6, but you play three on the first round, because the melody is Okay, three, three, zero, three. So it's E minor, you play the bass, and then you play, okay, the chord with three, three, zero, and then you have three again with D6. Okay, listen to how beautiful this is. It's beautiful, so, okay. And then you have zero, two, okay, it's in the chord, okay, so you hear, the, the true note of the chord. So, okay, okay, so, and then you have the solo that I talked about with C. Okay, so it's, okay, so you play the C note, the bass note, three on the fifth string with your second finger, and that way you can play five, uh, three, five, three, two on the first string. Okay? without having to change anything, okay? Because if you do, okay, you have to let it go. So the second finger is on the bass note, okay? okay? And then you have C, B, and 
And then you have the same E minor to D6 line, 3303, zero, three, but you add the one on the second strand. Okay, with E minor. And then, so, and then zero, 0353, three, and then C major seven. Okay? You can hammer on. And then C B. And then you have C with 0303 zero, three, three on the first string. Just like the okay, the first bar of the melody. So it's just C now. Okay? Just a C chord. C. Okay, with one on the second string. And then it's G. Okay, but it's seven on the first string. Now you can stretch, but then it wouldn't really help you so much because you're gonna need to play eight, seven afterwards. So you can do, okay, but you need to let go of the bass anyway, unless you have really long fingers. Okay, freakishly long. So I just played G over D, okay? Strings one, two, three, and four. That's, that's, okay, that's G with seven on the first string. That's a G chord, that's G over D, okay? And then after seven, okay, so you have zero, and then seven, okay, with G, eight, seven, and then you put on B, okay, a barred chord. Bar on seven, E-shaped with your, um, well, wait with a little finger, so you play the B chord, and then 10 on the second string, making this B7. So, right? And then you have C, you play the bass, you play 0, 3 on the first string. And then you're back at 7, but you're still on C. So you play 7 on the first string and 8 on the bass. You can play the whole chord, strings 1, 2, 3, and 6, because C major 7, again. And then... Okay, you have 10 on the second string, and then you have eight on the second string with seven on the bass. Because this is B now, and then strings one and two. This is an E octave, okay, signifying E minor. You can play, you can play E minor if you want, but I think single notes work best with this line. Right? And that way you get, okay, you get the, ending there so then you have the chorus you have the E bass okay just the E bass the sixth string and then you have the open E string and and eight on the second string okay so it's and then five seven on the first string it's instead of playing Okay, zero, five, three, seven. Okay, because you have eight on the second string, it's closer. And then you have this. Okay, incidentally, the way the guitar is built, okay, the standard tuning, the logic of the standard tuning, if you play this, this is also a sort of a D6 chord. Okay, so uh, it's not a sort of, it's a D6 chord. So, um... Just like you're playing two and two on strings one and three, you take it to seven and seven and you play exactly the same thing. This is seven, zero, seven, zero. Okay? So, um... Okay? And then you have eight, ten on the second string. And then you have that C major seven again, seven and eight on strings one and six. And then seven, eight, uh, eight seven again on the first string, so it's... 787, seven, okay? And then you have this. Okay? This is 7, 8, and 8. Okay, on strings 1, 2, and 6. Okay? This is still C major 7. And then you take it down. Okay? One fret. And instead of 6, 7, and 7, you play 5, 7, and 7. This is B7. Okay? So. Okay? It's seven, eight, and eight, and then five, seven, and seven. And then you have the E minor to D6 line. Again, exactly the same 
exactly the same this time. You you don't uh, you don't put the one on the second string because you need to be here, okay? Okay. And then you have eight on the second string, seven, eight, seven on the first. And then you have this, okay? Okay. This is C thirteen. Okay. It's ten and nine on strings two and three with eight on the bass. And then you play, you play eight and seven on strings three and six. You can also keep the ten on the second string. This is nice. Okay, gives you a nice chord. And then you have C zero three zero three on the first string. And then you have G with seven seven eight seven. Okay and. Just a B chord, okay? Bar on seven, and then you have G with three, three, three on the first string. And then you have the C major seven here, okay? Seven and eight on one and six, and then you have 10 and seven, second string and, and the sixth. Okay, so it's and, okay? A blues line. Eight hammer on to 10 on the second string, and then eight with the bass, or one after the other, and then nine on the third string, and that's the arrangement. So you can download the tab for free from the website, the link is below in the description, and while you're there, check out the beginner course and the complete guitar freedom course series. Whether you're beginner or advanced, I have something to help you wherever you are on your journey, okay? Lickinref.com slash beginner, the beginner course, 120 lessons to get you from complete beginner to intermediate. And the complete guitar freedom course series, lickinref.com slash courses, um, to take you from intermediate to infinity and beyond. Um, <coughs> that's like here. Um, so my wife is a Disney freak. Um, Download the tab, enjoy, have fun, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy.